Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Right, well, I'm back at my uh, Midhaven town. Let's have a look at the notice board for Midhaven. And it states here that I need to get my culture points up to 250. Hail the Jabonga, return to Asgazba. And uh, I've also got to help there with Ajit to overcome his woes. OK, well, let's start with the bottom up. Let's go for culture points first. Now, I did harvest a load of patch and other bits and bobs at the end of my previous episode. So I can create and craft quite a few buildings. I really like this building, though. I need some wood planks and alley leaf for that one, and I haven't got any alley leaf. Um, so I might as well just craft the ones I can craft. I could craft this one, which is freaking big. I've already got one of these. Let's, uh, oh, I can create three of them, and I get 20 culture points for them. I craft all three. Might as well. Okay, we've got all three of them, and I might as well craft. I, I'm not so keen on that one. I kind of like those ones, the farming huts. They're nice. Oh, these are nice ones. I like these. We'll craft two of them then as well. And the others are greyed out now, so I can't craft it anymore, but that'll do for now. Okay, well, we've got one big white building there. What I might do is build the others down here. In between here and the stables. There's not much going on in between here and the stables. I think that could do with a little bit of love. Alright, so here we go. Let's go into the old crafting there. Well, actually into my inventory. Inventory even. And we'll grab one of these. Okay, right. And let's see if we can place this somewhere lovely. Oh, it went blue there, didn't it? For a second. Now, I hate that, how it calls your donkey in. Let's get down onto the same level as my building and see if that makes any difference. Because I'd like to be able to put it here. Okay, well, that's not happening. All right, well, bear with me and I'll reconvene with you in a moment, people. Okay, chums, I've got most of the bigger buildings down. Now I just want to get this one down. It keeps going blue. And then it goes red again. I can't get the sweet spot exactly where I want it. That'd have to do there. OK, and we've got another one of them. And then we'll go and see if we've managed to get this where it needs to be when it comes to culture points. OK, kind of want it there. that do. Because that big building is slightly hovering. So I want to hide the fact that it's slightly hovering by putting in these little huts and look how close this is to that hut there now so here we go look at that i've got a massive colossal array of markets there now looks pretty darn freaking epic well it would do if it wasn't night time let me go and stay till morning let's, have, let's see how we're doing for culture points now shall we oh we're on 202 which isn't too bad is it okay let's uh, go see what i built and show you what i built so it's out towards my little markety area look so i've got this now that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's like something out of Prince of Persia. And I've got these two little huts around here. Nice. Nice. Little bit of a gap there, which I'm not so keen on. I need to put another house in between the two. But then this is the PS to the Resistance. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? That's kind of what you see when you get to my town now. It looks like a freaking castle, doesn't it? Liking it. Liking it a lot. Like okay. it. Right, let's head on up into town then. So, we've managed to build quite a few buildings. Now, I do want that windmilly type one. So, let's just have a look at the components needed for that. Because I wouldn't mind building a couple of them. All right. Crafting bench. Right, so I want to make some of those. And I need alley leaf. Now, alley leaf is troublesome. Troublesome. Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Do you want to make a building like this with the whirly twirly my bits at the top? Yes, well, you need to get yourself a crafting bench and hopefully you're going to have the recipe for this come level one or level two of inside your farming system. But that's the building in question, a basic windmill. It's going to give you 25 culture points. It does need wooden planks and it does need alley leaf as the other ingredients. If I was to move my camera down, you'd see that. There we go. Alley leaf. There we go. So, right. Okay. 
So to get the alley leaf, you need to get yourself some common seeds and plant them. You'll see that one of these, there you go, look, that's going to be grown in 13 minutes time. And hopefully I'll be able to get some alley leaf. But to get the common seeds, you need to find yourself quite a common bush. So if I head down here, hopefully just outside of my town, I should be able to find common bush. I mean, there's a stick right there, but we don't want a stick over here. There you go. Here's a load of bushes. Hopefully I'm going to get some common seeds. There you go. Common seeds straight out of there. Pick some more. Look at that. I'm getting loads of common seeds now, people. Right. -o. So now I've got some common seeds. I can just head on up into my town and plant said common seeds. Now it is just completely random chance with what grows. I mean, I've got a few stubs here. Spindle root. Oh, I'll pick that up. Now you are going to get other bushes grow as well spindle root as well it's a shame you can't dig them up and replant them straight away if it's not what you want isn't it but here we go i'm gonna put these down common seed there let's see what that one's gonna be ah uh, you can't see until after you finish planting fair enough I'll plant one there but if i come out of this for a second let's have a look that's gonna be another bush and that's gonna be another bush so sadly not alley there you go, another common seed. And it is just a case of random chance. I will have one grow over here, so I will show you what they look like. But yeah, sadly, as and when you upgrade your ecosystems, the less likely the chance of getting an alley leaf drop, because you're going to get rarer stuff appear than alley leaf, which doesn't help if you're after alley leaf. There you go. I can harvest all these fresh bushes and hopefully get some common seeds back, but... A lot of the time you're just going to get thatch and fibre from these, which is great for building all your basic weapons, but it's not really what we're after right now. OK, well, I've got quite a lot of wood on me anyway, and the wood we can turn into planks. So let's go turn those into planks while we're waiting for the alley leaf to grow. I mean, at the moment we're getting hay, but there it is right there. It's going to take a little while, and that's only going to give us a little bit of alley leaf. And we're going to need quite a lot of alley leaf. All right. Anyway, let's teleport back to my main down over here. Zoom and to there. OK, now I can make some wooden planks and so just put the wood in and a little bit of resin. And you're going to get some wooden planks and we only want no, well, three of them, I guess. Sweet. And that's going to take nine minutes. So the alley leaf and the wooden planks do take a little while. Let's just go and have a look at the recipe once more for the, that building. How many planks do I need? I actually need six planks. Now, I have actually got four already, so that's OK. But I don't know whether I'm going to get four aloe leaf just from that one plant. We can but hope. Fingers crossed. Oh, I should really mention, people, that this lumber mill opens up at tier one and i think it's one of the first things that you get inside of this town so if you haven't got the lumber mill you won't be able to build this i can't go up a level um it really shows you the current tier i'm on at the moment okay well i can pick up my wood or well, i would if uh my inventory wasn't full okay well let's just get rid of that and we'll get rid of those whatever those are Right, okay. And now I've got my wooden planks. Lovely. Stand up. You know my days. Get out of that menu. And stand up. Right, okay. Now I'm going to head on back over to the other town and see if the bushes have grown back. Let's go and have a look, see there. Wait me a moment. Okay, here's the wild alley. Let's see if it gives me wild. And this one gives me alley leap. There we go, it gave me one, one alley leaf. But that's what wild alley looks like, that sort of weird curly looking plant. Now you might be lucky to find it out in the wild, but it's a rarity. It's a rarity I find that. But yeah, I'm just going to pick up all these. It's going to give me a load of fatchy bits and stuff. What's, what's it left there? Fibre. Okay. You know, the other one that you'd need to look for is this sort of like dark greenish bush. I did not mention these over in my other biome, but I didn't have any there. I've got some growing around by here, OK, so I'm not going to use any of the aloe on any of these if they need it. No, I need that. There you go, I can fix him. That's all right. Cool. 
Let's have a look for some more alley bush inside of here. Sadly, it was dark, so you couldn't really see that that well, but I think you get the idea. It's like a dark green bush. Looks a bit like the other ferns, but it's just a darker green. Cool. Here we go. Here's another one. So alley fern. Pick that up. Nice. And I don't think it just grows naturally. I think it grows inside of your temperate biome if you're super lucky. I don't know whether it grows off of a common seed or what. Now, if you go inside of your Shemudex and you go over to plants, so that's the alley fern. And it says there, alley leaf, and it's grown from temperate seed. The only thing is, if your economy, or ecology, goes higher, you don't get the alley leaf grow. It's, um,. A little bit annoying, but apparently it grows, it should grow naturally. Actually, I think it gives alley leaf and temperate seed. How it gets produced, I'm not too sure, but there are other other variants of alley as well. So let me see if I can find the other alley that I just picked up earlier. Alley root, that can give alley leaf, but it's a rarity. Uh, where's the other one? There's the wild alley. So apparently it only grows in tropical habitats, but you just saw me manage to grow that inside of my normal area. So there's that one as well. But yeah, there you go. So there's a few different alley plants. But inside of the arid area, so you can also get alley leaf from this thing, the succulent alley. And yeah, that can be a bit tricky to find there. Well, chums, I've come into my um, sort of area here and I've found a Gormaro. And they eat all sorts of weird stuff. Okay, right. Let's put away the scope. Let's see if we can feed it. Because I'm sure I've got I've got to actually feed this guy. Okay, right. Come out of there. Throw it down. Now there is a there's a creature attacking me at the moment. And get my sword ready just in case he attacks me again. But look at him. Gormaro. I think he's called Gormaro because he's got like multiple arms, like Goro from Mortal Kombat. Fairly cool. Right. Is he going to do a dump? You're going to leave me some thing? Just don't give me anything. Right. I see how that works. Get bag. All right, well, that was a bit weird. I think I have to feed that creature twice as well. So let's try that again then. Let me see what else he likes, just in case. So, oh God. Gormaro, just let me see what he wants. Okay, we're having fun with this, aren't we? Okay, I think it was those and I could be wrong but it was the red berries which I don't have on me so I'm gonna throw those out again I think he liked carrots but I can't be 100% sure and I haven't got no carrots with me so I think it is this let's see if he'd eat another one straight after that one come on come get it no ah oh, here we go here comes the creature that was attacking me before Take that, you freaking get back! Oh, he killed me. Ah, <sighs> this game sometimes, people. Okay, so this is my arid biome, as you can see here. We've got alley root. So if I dig up that, sometimes, sometimes it can give you the alley leaf. It's a little bit rare, but we'll see if we get some alley leaf. Come on. Yes, I got an alley leaf on the first one I dug up. Nice one. So now I'm going to just dig up a few more. Sweet. Come on, give us some more alley leaf. Nope, see, I didn't get one in that one. It's a rarity that you get it. The guaranteed drop, though, is this. The wild alley. If you see that, grab it. You got yourself an alley leaf. So it, Alley used to be quite an abundance before the last patch and the last update. Now I'm getting less and less of it. I don't know whether it's because my ecology has moved on somewhat or whether it's just, you know, luck of the draw. I mean, like I say, these are just completely 
random chance whether you get an alley leaf or not. I, I think they need to increase the spawn rate of alley leaf on the alley route. There you go, I've got another alley leaf there. It's uncommon, but I think maybe they need to make alley leaf common because it's used so much for healing creatures and it's such a rare drop and we use it in sort of like building our buildings as well so here we go let's just get some more alley leaf if we can so i'm not sure why this wild alley actually grew in my first temperate zone it should only grow in arid there you go and get the alley leaf from there we've got quite a few here let's grab those let's get loads of alley leaf here and hopefully i might be able to make two windmill houses that'd be nice wouldn't it i could dig up the rest of this and see if we get lucky oh what have we got there we've got a common seed why is my inventory full again? That's insane. You can break your spades digging these up. There you go, look at that. See what I mean? Craft another one. I'm just going to go around. I'm just going to pick up all of this. Because I'm figuring... It's going to give me a load of thatch. It's going to give me a load of fibre. And I can build a few other buildings as well. Not just a windmill home. I'm hoping to build two windmill houses if I can. But we'll see. We'll see how we get on. There's two more aloe plants there to dig up. But this is like the third spade I've gone through now, just digging up these plants. And like I say, it's, it's random chance whether you get one. I mean, look how much durability my spade's going down there. You physically see that little red bar going down with every bush that I dig out. And there's not a guarantee that you're going to get aloe leaf. It's, um, it's not a bit of a false economy, this one. Oh, there's another one there. And I've got another one, two over there. By the time I've dug up, like, what six or eight plants the spade breaks well come on dig 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 am i gonna get lucky don't know okay here it goes we should have enough i'm hoping to do two windmills but if we can only do one we'll only do one yeah i can only do one at the moment because i'm short on the wooden planks so I can get some more wooden planks going. I'll just head on over to my lumber mill and get some of crafting. Like yeah, it says my lumber mill just here. It's over on the roof. Okay, don't climb it. Then there we go. Lovely. And we get some more going in there. Yeah, that's going to take ten minutes though. But at least I've got one building that I can put down, and I want to put it over in the middle of here if it will let me i want it just around here okay let's give it a go and i was hoping to put it around here oh it went blue for a second didn't it it went blue for a split second somewhere around here come on there you go oh it went blue perfect Kapowie! Sweet! That's kind of where I wanted it. Nice one. Okay, we've got that going. Nice. And then if I do get another one, I'm probably going to put it right in between these two. Just there is where I'm hoping to put it. Oh, hello, mate. Yeah, Chico B's doing fine, chat. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's doing good. Right. How are we doing on the old culture points now? We're at 227. Right, okay, well, hopefully those wooden planks will help. But for now, I could probably build one of these. That's that's quite nice. Oh, but that's going to use some of my aloe leaf. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use just one. Because I'm only going to make one of them. This doesn't give us any culture points, but I bloody love it. I think that's really cool. I like that. So I'm going to... Should I have one here? I've got one at my arid lands. I think sometimes... Sometimes less is more, isn't it? We could build one of these because I quite like them. Yeah, we'll have that. That's going to give us 14 points. And although I don't like these ones as much, I think I might craft one anyway. How do you make that tower? That's pretty darn nice, isn't it? Linen cloth. I wonder if I can make some linen cloth and make that tower. Let's have a look, see. Okay, where's my t-shirty place? Is it over here? No, that's my other mill. Hmm. One sec. 
Right, how do we make linen again? Remind me. Okay, I could make a couple of them then. I'm not going to make too many. I'll make four. There we go. We've got that. It's funny. To make textiles it doesn't take half as long to make some blinking wooden boards. I would have thought that would have been easier to make the wooden boards, wouldn't you? But there we go. Let's go over here then. And now I can make the tower. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, we'll make one of them. Well, you know what? That tower might look better than the windmill over by my like hotel complex over here. It might, mightn't it? If I put the tower on the end of this, that might look a lot better. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Hopefully it'll let me put it... Oh, it's actually bigger than I thought it would be. It would go there, though. Can I move it just a little bit this way? Actually, let's, let's move it where it was. I think that would work. It's a shame it won't go there like that. But you know what? I can I can live with it slightly askew. Oh, it's not it's not doing it now. There you go. I think I might have broke my donkey. All right, we'll just put it there then. That kind of works. I mean, it's it's encroached into this this hut's doorway slightly, so I might move this. Okay, so remove that. And you see it dropped it as a jar. You need to pick that up to get your building back. And we'll put the other building back in now. Rotate it round so we've got a door. There we are. see how the other one's doing around here as this one go yeah you can still get in the door on that one that one's fine oh I think that looks freaking excellent that really does set this off doesn't it oh yes it looks like you can go through there and it takes you into the whole of that complex love it okay right we need to make this a little bit nicer in here so let's uh, let's get another building Let's get this big one. Oh, we can just stick it straight in the middle here. That could work. There we go. And then we've got one more of these little thatched ones. Can I just chuck that somewhere around here? It's strange how some buildings it, it likes them and then others it doesn't. Yeah, that can go there. We're getting ourselves a, like a little bizarre area here, you know? I like it. I think that's looking quite good. And once we get the planks done, we can maybe put another windmill somewhere that's a little bit more visible, because that's what that one's kind of tucked at the back there. I could do with sleeping, so it's daytime again. We're going to have a better look at that. Well, it looks like we've got a mission to pick up from her or turn into her. I think she asked me to kill a load of generals, and I think I've done that for her. Young warrior, I've been looking all over for you. My largest thanks. You're welcome. Yes, that was for killing the withered generals. Sweet. I thought she swore then. Holy fudge. Okay, well, we've got to try and find some chat for her. We'll try and do that next, next, next episode, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, let's see how we're getting on with... How well our town's doing now in culture points. We've managed to hit the culture points. Brilliant, eh? But you know what? Before we move on, I just want to build one more of those windmills. I'm just going to rest till morning. And we'll have a look at that little bazaar in a bit. One minute 40. I'm reconvening with you in a moment. And then hopefully we'll build one more windmill down by that little bazaar area. We'll have one look at it before I end off. My wood is almost ready, people. Here we go. I'm just going to get my planks done we got our wooden planks right oh well let's um go and craft one more of those lovely windmills shall we people i guess head on over to my crafting table dun, 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 dun. oh look at that i'm too short 
I can't be asked to wait a long, another nine minutes or so. Oh well, well I have it done for next episode, probably people. But um, that whole wood mill stuff takes far too long, in my opinion, to make a couple of planks of wood. It's a little bit embarrassing, really, isn't it? And look, I'm short on wood now. I need to go collect a load of sticks. So yeah, let's just go and have a look at my bazaar. I think it's about as good as it can be anyway. Is that a stick right there? No. Anyway, let's go around here. Look at that. That looks actually quite cool. I think if I could get another one of those windmills down in front, I think that'd look really quite nice. Yeah, I think that's coming along quite well, this. I love that tower on the end. I think that was a really last minute bit of inspiration that one getting a load of sticks out here well a couple of sticks anyhow nice but anyway hopefully i'd have the other windmill built before the next episode people but you know what it's been it's been a pleasure as always uh, I, i'm enjoying making these videos peeps it is quite a relaxing game to play to be fair there you go i'm getting loads of wood now i don't know whether i've got 10 wood to start the process going. I've only got eight. I need to find two more sticks. Are you a stick? No, you're a stone. Whenever you want sticks, you find stones. And whenever you want stones, you find sticks. It's it's just a way of life. Oh, don't know what the fudge I found there. But yeah. You're a stick. You're a stick. Right. Ah, it's a stone. You're a stick. Be a stick. It's a stone. <laughs> Until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.